Today we're gonna take a look at another great render farm for you as an artist to render your projects and animations faster. iRender is an amazing online render farm for some of the most popular render engines in the market today which are Redshift and Octane Render. Although Redshift and Octane made huge improvements in reducing render times, many users still rely on render farms to maximize productivity and fully customize their pipeline. So whether you are a single artist or a fully fledged studio, iRender, our today's sponsor, has everything you need to help you realize your vision faster. It is an infrastructure as a service based professional GPU accelerated cloud rendering service provider optimized for visual effects and general computer graphics work. It is actually compatible with all major render engines and all DCC software on the market today, but in particular, it is compatible with Redshift and Octane, which is what we're gonna talk about today. So unlike other software as a service render farm, where you can only submit your file and receive the rendered result, in addition to having no way to adjust your work before and during the rendering process, iRender adopted the infrastructure as a service model. You can connect remotely to one or more servers, install any software, plug in and add on you want, and have control over everything from software itself to the render engine and so on. You can think of this as your local machine, only way more stronger because that's exactly what it is. Basically, you connect with the remote computer and you use it in a similar way how you use your local machine. Some of the advantages that infrastructure as a service model, such as iRender's model uses over the software as a service type is of course the fully customizable workflow. In addition to full support of all software, as well as multiple versions of Octane Render and even the older ones. Not to mention, the newest hardware includes the latest RTX 4090 GPUs and the RTX 3090 GPUs with MVLink for maximum performance in addition to other stuff. One of the reasons why iRender is one of the best cloud rendering services for Redshift and Octane is the fact that you can use any version of the engine in conjunction with any host application for your choosing such as Cinema 4D, Houdini, Maya, Max, Blender, Unity and Dash Studio in addition to others. Additionally, in the case of Redshift for example, it began to support CPU rendering for Cinema 4D, which means you can easily render with the Redshift CPU using the AMD Ryzen Threadger Pro Pro 3955WX. The processors are designed to deliver exceptional performance for professionals such as artists, architects, engineers, and data scientists. Featuring 16 cores and 32 threads with a 4.3 GHz boost frequency iRender gives you access to practically an unlimited amount of processing power with powerful render nodes for multi-GPU rendering such as using 8 powerful NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 GPUs but if this is an overall kill for you, you can also select other packages with 2, 4 or 6 GeForce RTX 90 GPUs. The great thing is that you can easily switch between them without having to reinstall your software and data. Furthermore, iRender is always enhancing and updating their services and recently they introduced a new server with two GeForce RTX 4090 GPUs which promises an enormous leap in performance, up to 70% from the last generation and just to compare performance, check out the Octane benchmark scores for the dual GeForce RTX 4090 server packages. On a side note, according to the Octane render developer Otoy, the CPU plays a critical role in loading scenes quickly for rendering. So the aforementioned AMD Ryzen Thread Dripper Pro will be a huge time saver in allowing you to extract much data, loading textures, and preparing scene data a lot more quickly. But this is not all. Aside from the full support of any version of Redshift and Octane and any hosting 3D software, free licenses, in addition to cutting edge hardware, iRender is jam packed with many other features. And this includes MVLink for large and complex scenes. Nvidia's new SLI technology is MVLink, which allows available memory for both GPUs to be combined and accessible at all times. So if 24GB of RAM is not enough for your scene, you can take advantage of the MVLink to access even more memory. And you can do this by requesting MVLink Bridge on iRender's dual GeForce RTX 3090 servers. This in addition to other services iRender provides, like changing packages without having to reinstall your data, expanding your image threshold or storage capacity, and cloning to duplicate your working images. The staff and the team of iRender is fairly responsive and you can always reach out for instructions or maybe help so they can help you through the chat box or the website. One feature that I particularly like is the ability to transfer data to your remote server in various ways. 
iRender has powerful file transfer tools which are iRender Drive and GPU Hub Sync. These tools offer high transfer speeds, large data capacities, and are completely free to use, so you're not gonna be charged when transferring your data, which I think is really helpful. As you can sync your projects to the Z drive inside the server, and then boot up your server and start rendering. iRender also supports third-party transfer tools such as Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, or web transfer as the server already has internet access and you can easily access any website to transfer your files. When it comes to pricing, there are two kinds of GPU renter packages, single GPU renter packages and multiple GPU renter packages. The prices and machine specs can be subject to change, but at the time of making this video, these are the prices and specs you can see on the screen. And the good thing about iRender is that it only charges for the usage time without any hidden costs apart from the pay-as-you-go payment method. You can also choose to render service on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis to save up to 20% with iRender rental feature. And the prices from what we can see and compare with other farms are fairly reasonable. If you are interested in iRender, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.